Everyone on my TikTok timeline has been testing out this foundation by KVD Beauty. It has taken the internet world by storm. It's been going viral. Like everyone is raving about it. And I was like, you know what? I want to do a wear test on this. I want to try this out. I also have a darker shade for contouring with, if you guys can see that. And then I have a shade which will hopefully match me, although I am a little bit paler than I normally am right now, because I don't really leave the house. Just for reference, I have combination skin. I can get a little bit oily, a little bit dry, oily in my tea, dry around the rest of the face. Um, I have super, super sensitive skin. Like, oh my God, my skin is so sensitive. I get reactions more regular than I would like to. Like, honestly, my skin is so sensitive. Right now, I've been suffering with some breakouts around my mouth and chin which is that redness sort of there I have discoloration underneath my under eyes i'm just basically telling you these sort of things so that we can see how well this foundation covers it and how well it works with you know my skin type because you might have a similar skin type to me let's go let's begin <laughs> I have the shade medium 048. I'm sure loads of you have seen what this looks like and all of this packaging can be recycled. So I don't know how well that is going to match me right now. Let me undo that. <gasps> oh my God, I thought I smudged it already. That might match my neck and chest a little bit better compared to that obviously my face. My face is a lot lighter than my body. That could work, that could work. It just looks so smooth and you know when something's so smooth like that, I just kind of, don't want to touch it, but then I also just want to smear it everywhere. To use with the foundation, I also have the KVD Edge Foundation Brush. If you guys didn't know, Kat Von D actually sold this brand on, so she's not a part of it anymore. And I'm going to show you what the brush looks like. That's got such a nice thickness to it, and it's sturdy, but with a bit of movement. I really feel like this is just going to really help layer that foundation on as well. All right, this is the brush. That's the packaging. Got my phone down here because I'm doing a little mini TikTok as well, but I won't share the wear test results in the TikTok. I'll share this only on here. Let's take some of that product. That's really covered those spots straight away. That match is really good too. I mean, it's not as yellow as I would like it, but I don't know why as well. I thought this was gonna feel a bit thick. You see the cat in the background? <laughs> Stop trying to steal my shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on my under eye bag. That's like thick like concealer, isn't it? I get a little bit of transparent up here. Let's take that onto the lid as well. I genuinely thought this was gonna be a little bit more oily on my skin because a lot of people have said how oily and creamy this foundation is, but on my skin, I don't think it looks shiny or oily or any of that at all. You can see the coverage just on that under eye bag for yourself. Like if I go like this, Look at the difference. And obviously that's not concealer, that's the foundation itself. One thing I find before coverage foundations, they do tend to crease easier on me and sit into my lines and my pores and stuff like that. And I can already see a little bit of creasing going on right there on this side of my mouth because you don't notice it here, but you can notice it there. But it doesn't actually sink into my pores or anything like that at all. In fact, it makes the skin look super flawless. The coverage is amazing, but I'm very aware that that is already sinking in. So I have zoomed you in as like close as I I can get you to show you all, you know, the skin, how there is no pores sunken in. It just looks so smooth. If you guys can see here, there is that little line kind of creeping in. Look at that, it's made that look like gray because obviously where it's kind of got the foundation on there. Look how purple this is. You can see all those freckles and then there's nothing there. As you would have seen previously, I had some discoloration and redness on the chin. And if you look at the chin now, you can still see a tiny bit there and there, but nothing major and nothing compared to this sort of side here. So far, the coverage is really impressive because it doesn't look cakey. And I find like really super heavy foundations sometimes just don't work with my skin. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to do the rest of the face now. I feel like as well, this might be one of the sort of foundations that lasts you forever. Okay, you can see I've got like redness around here. So I'm just gonna go like that. It's kind of mad. Can you see the nose area? If I just go in there. Redness gone, okay. Let's take that underneath the eye as well. You can clearly see that discoloration there. So let's use whatever's on the brush and just wipe that down. And I've not gone in for more product. I'm just using what is on the brush for that. That's crazy, ain't it? 
It's very creamy. It kind of reminds me of that sort of cream to powder sort of vibe. You know those foundations that you can get like that? That's what the sort of texture reminds me of and that's what it feels like when it's going onto the skin as well. So I'm just gonna go around that nose. This also has apple extract, which apparently is meant to nourish the skin. I can really imagine if you're someone who suffers with a lot of discoloration and you need a little bit more full coverage, that this foundation could possibly work really well for you. My only concern is to see how this holds up throughout the day and if it does start to separate and crease really badly. For contouring, I'm gonna use the shade 070. I'm gonna use the smaller end of this brush because I don't wanna put on too much product. I'm just gonna wipe, wow. Too much product, she says. And from here, I'm just gonna go up. I really want to try this out as a cream contour because of the coverage and how well this might last. Start blending that out. A little bit of powder and a little dab dab. That's looking well smooth. <gasps> so smooth, so blended. Obviously I'm using a different brush for this because I didn't want to use the same one with the foundation on it. I just wanted to see how this performs by itself. As you can see, I'm just doing a little pressing motion into the skin. Let's do the forehead and see if I feel the same because my forehead recently has just been a little bit dry. The nose is looking hella weird, okay? Let's ignore that. Obviously, I need to clear it up with some concealer, some powder. I just run it down the side of the nose and then I'll go with my concealer after. But that cheek has blended out so smoothly and so nicely. I actually really, really like that, you know? I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice for how smooth that actually looks. So far for a contour, that is right up my street. So nice, so creamy, blended out amazingly well, blended into the foundation great, no separation, all just went super smooth. I love it on the cheeks, like the cheeks is just really, yeah, I don't know, I'm just really liking that. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we're gonna come back. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl another night When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no. You know what I say. Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. I met a girl from the UK. She had a she had cute. I tell her come if she wanna see me She love the green and she love when it rains She said bring up the money from the ATM Tell your mom from your ATM In the back you go shopping with your ATM Go lunch with your ATM Do it back some clothes from your ATM When I glow every time you come in Be the one with the bag when you are with your friends Baby girl let the ice break Give you all what your life is I know what I say I met a girl from the UK. She had a she had cute. I tell her come if she wanna see me. She love the green and she love when it rains. She said bring up the money from the ATM. Tell your mom from your ATM. Okay, and here we have the finished result. Even though I know it looks like it matches on camera, I am actually gonna go out for a dog walk, so I will show you the foundation in broad daylight so you can really see what it looks like. I don't know, I felt like when I went into the toilet like two seconds ago, my face looked a bit darker. I don't feel like it's picking up on camera, but I definitely feel like it's got a little bit more darker, a little bit more peachy orange, slightly oxidized a little bit. I looked in the mirror and I was like, I think it looks a little bit darker now than what it did when I first applied it. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Also, real quick, if you actually wanna do that elongated eye, like what I've done, and just make the eyelashes look a bit fuller on the ends, then these eyelashes I definitely recommend. So if you're like me and you're like a little bit of a thick, fluffy, full lash but you want to do the half lash trend that's really really popular right now then look at these ones these are the girls with attitude ultra luxe lashes these are in the style rodeo drive and i just trim three off the end if you can see like that amount there just three of them if you get them you'll see what i mean but yeah i trim three off the end and then obviously apply them to the eye and they got that little bit of separation which i like i don't like it when a lash just kind of fans out and it's just one thickness going through but goes from like short to long i don't really like that i need that little bit of separation in the eyelash and these give me that but they also give me that little bit of thickness that I live for I struggle to find those perfect kind of like half lash eyes that suit my eye shape especially because my eyes are slightly hooded and I've got like really nice soft ones but I wanted something that's a little bit more dramatic and these just seem to be working really well for me and they're super affordable so yeah I just wanted to mention them to you guys because you know some of you guys might be like 
looking like I did. I'm gonna give you guys a close up now of the makeup and all the skin so you can see what it's looking like. The laugh lines are still there, there's definitely a bit of creasing going on either side, but it hasn't really changed that drastically since I done my makeup, but they definitely are there and sunken in a little bit. I feel like it's covered the redness around the spots. You can see like the texture around here, but you can't see the redness. I didn't conceal them. We literally just put the foundation on them, which is pretty amazing because if you are someone that does have breakouts or sort of discoloration, then this foundation could be really, really good for you. So I really love the fact that I didn't need to conceal any of those areas. At this point in time, I'm dead impressed. It looks really gorgeous on the skin. It doesn't look cakey, but it is not as radiant or as like dewy as I thought it would be. Like, I don't know, because I heard so many people say that it was quite oily and it was super creamy, I just assumed that, you know, there's gonna be a little bit more of a radiance to it. Well, in fact, if I was to actually wear this, like, you know, do my normal makeup, I definitely would wanna go in with a little bit of Fix Plus. Something just to bring the skin a little bit back to life because I feel like this does look a little bit dry. So right now, I would wanna go in with a little bit of a radiant spray. Apart from that and the laugh lines, they're the only two sort of cons that I can pick up on. But the pros are the full coverage, how easily it blended. You didn't need a lot of the product. It hasn't sunken into my pores. It's covered all my discoloration, you know, the breakouts, the under eye bags. It's done a really good job with the coverage. Like the coverage, I cannot fault at all. So if you're a sort of, you know, Huda Beauty folks feel a kind of girl or a little bit of Estee Lauder double wear, then you might want to have a look at this foundation. However, I need to see how how this holds throughout the day because that is the true test. Majority foundations look great when you first put them on. You know when you go into a store back in the day when we was allowed and they'd put foundation on you straight away, you'd be like, oh damn, this looks amazing. And then you'd go out in the natural light and you do your bit of your shopping and you'd be like, oh, what the hell's happened to my face? And that's why these videos are here so that you guys can actually see how this foundation lasts before you go and spend your own coins on it. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I'm gonna go and walk the dog. I'm gonna show you it in natural lighting. Then I will check in with you, give you the download and my final thoughts on this foundation. I do not use primers or setting sprays in any of my foundation testing videos because I like to see how the foundation does by itself. I just think it's a little bit more fair that way. All right, let's run to the next kit. I'm just on my balcony right now. I just wanna show you the foundation in natural daylight so you can just see everything. So you can see it covered this sort of discoloration really well. I need to paint my bloody nails, honestly. You can see the texture of the skin a little bit more here. Obviously, I look really bright because it's hella sunny today. I'm not complaining. I'm so thankful for this weather. But yeah, I'm going to go and take my dog on a walk. But I want to show you how it looks outside in natural daylight. I'm in the bathroom, so you're gonna hear the extract fan going on right now, but this is the best place for lighting. It is gone 11. <laughs> this foundation has actually been on a lot longer than it was meant to. As you can see, majority of it has actually rubbed off my chin. Please look at this beast that is coming through. It has gone really patchy actually. I don't know if you guys can see the forehead. and It has definitely been over 10 hours though, so you know, over 10 hours is quite a long time anyway to wear your foundation. All the areas that I powdered are still kind of there, but the patchiness and it wearing off is not what I expected. I said earlier this was not as oily as I thought it was going to be, and I stick by that like my oils haven't really come through, which is mad. The only thing I'd say I'm not the biggest fan of is it has got separated. So I think if you want a full coverage foundation that you want to wear for about five to six hours, then you'll be absolutely fine. If you want anything longer than that, this will start to separate on you. The pores still look really good. I don't know if you guys can see the patchiness on the forehead and obviously, you know, all my breakouts. I start to come through on my chin. I feel like there's pros and cons to this, but the overall result is pretty mad. Like, like I said, if you want a foundation to last about five to six hours, then I think you'll be sweet. I even said to Sean, my boyfriend earlier, I was like, what do you think of my foundation? I'm going to put my makeup. And he looked at it and he was like, yeah, your skin looks pretty good. And right now my skin isn't in the best situation, obviously because of like all the discoloration from the breakouts. And then my under eyes are pretty dark because of my sleeping pattern. The fact that he was like, my skin looks pretty good. I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, it's covering it really well. You can definitely see on camera like the separation here along there but it is not as shiny as i thought that was going to be i honestly thought i was going to be a greasy mess wearing this i think this is a really decent foundation i can't speak for how well it would last on people with oily skin because i am combo i'll put a little thing on the screen somewhere around here to let you know if i break out more or if anything appears or my skin has any reactions to this makeup full coverage 
yes goes on amazingly well was a little bit drier looking than what i was expecting it does crease a little bit but not as bad as a lot of our full coverage foundations because my laugh lines don't look any different from what they were when i started so that is definitely a thumbs up from me because the laugh lines when you look at me like this you wouldn't even see anything you know if you want something to cover discoloration um, under our bags that sort of thing and even skin tone this could be a really good full coverage foundation for you at this point in time i'm probably going to give this a seven maybe a 7.5 i need to use it a little bit more before i give it an eight do you know what i mean like i actually need to try a few different products and stuff like that but when i want a full coverage foundation and i won't need it to last too long then I will definitely wear this. That is my first impressions, 10 hour plus, <laughs> where obviously I ended up like gaming and stuff. So because I was playing games for a while, I ended up sitting there with this foundation on for much longer than I was meant to. That is my opinion on this foundation. The next one that I want to test is the new Fenty Skin Tint because I love me a skin tint. Like a skin tint is right up my street. I love luminous skin tints and then a full coverage concealer. That stuff talks to my soul. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's literally just a click. And if you aren't a part of my online YouTube family, then you know what to do. Join us. We're a nice bunch. Until then, take care. I posted my last week's vlog. Check that out, Kevin. I do weekly vlogs now. And I'll see you, lovely lot, very soon. Bye.